My name is Armando Darling, Technical Director and Business Manager of BIMObject USA. BIMObject links the complex technology around CAD and BIM with architects, engineers, contractors, and the building product manufacturing industry. BIMObject is Ardex's global partner for BIM content development and hosting. This video will show you how stakeholders in the AEC community can use Ardex's BIM content in the design and construction of building projects. Ardex content uses assemblies. The assemblies category of Revit elements supports construction workflows by letting you identify, classify, quantify, and document unique element combinations in the model. After finding the Ardex BIM content on the BIM object portal, you can click on the link to take you to the Ardex webpage. Also through the tabs, you can see the classifications, your region, and the properties. In the properties, you'll be able to see different properties that have been added. Going to the description, you can expand it to get more information. Now into the project. I'm going to show you several ways to insert Ardex BIM content into the project. First, we'll need to download the Ardex Subfloor Preparation and Concrete Moisture Vapor Control System. In the downloads, we have several files that are available. We're going to select the sample flooring assembly to bring into the project. It opens up a Revit file, and here it has your assembly and underlay. This assembly consists of the Artex Feather Finish, V1200, VR98, and Artifix products. And here we see how there are different transfer styles and instructions on how to transfer the Artex products to a project. These transfer styles give you several methods to add the Artex underlings, and I'll show you several of these methods. You can transfer the Artex Americas material to your Revit software, as well as transfer all the floor types and the materials, or transfer an individual floor with this materials. First, we'll select the sample floors, and then use the copy the clipboard method to insert them into the project. Once in the project, they're added as floor types, although we're actually inserting an integrated system to prepare for the floor, and the project will remember them. You can delete the small sample floors as Revit saves the types into the project. Finally, we're gonna talk about transfer project standards. This is the other way of transferring all the floors or walls into your project. We deselect everything, and select floor types, new only, and you're done. Applying the floor to your project is also super simple. Simply select the floor, select the finish for the type of floor you want to use, edit the type, and that will have all the information inside that floor at that point. Typically, architects will create all the floor types they want to use in their project. They can do this by duplicating an existing floor type and then adding the additional underlayments to build up that floor. So you simply insert structures that make up the floor in the underlay. You add the material, then the thickness, and assign the function. In the preview, you'll start seeing that the structure starts growing at that point. Now do this for each of the material components of the floor, and then move them up and down to represent the floor construction. This is the standard method for most architects, designers, and contractors to create floors in Revit. Once the floor assembly is complete and all the items are added in, you'll be able to finish it and it's in your project at that point. All complete. This is just a sample of the many ways of completing the floor assembly. I've just shown you a couple for Ardex.